The goal was for it to be a master's program that focused on aging research and was research intensive. The Buck Institute focuses on looking at diseases from the perspective of aging. We started this program, which we think prepares students for the future in biomedicine for the next generation. The first thing that really stood out to me about the Dominican program was the fact that it gave you actual hands-on experience in a lab almost full time. The only time you're not in the lab really is when you're at home or when you are actually in your classes. You take on a project that becomes your own and you perform actual research that goes towards publications. Um, that was something I didn't feel like I could get anywhere else. This program works really well for people who know that they want to do something in biology but haven't actually gotten much of a taste of actual hands-on biological science yet. It's a short two-year program that lets them get this experience, decide if it's what they want to continue doing, and even if it's not, the masters that you gain from it can be put towards many other biological careers. The whole lab, I think, can often be a very welcoming environment, and there's just a lot of people that can help the student decide what path to go. You get mentored by uh, you know, postdocs and students who are at the forefront of aging research. You get uh, mentored by uh, lab heads who are the best in their field. And, and you are also amongst uh, peers who are at an institute which is regarded as one of the best institutes in, in geroscience or aging research. So far, every principal investigator that I've met, have, they've been top notch. Whether I have a question about classes or if I need someone to read over my grant or proposal, they'll be there. There's been a lot of people who have gone on to a bunch of different careers uh, after they've gotten out of this Dominican program. I mean, there's people who have gone into a PhD program like me. There's some who have gone on to pharmacology school. Uh, there's various people who are working in different industry fields uh, in biology, working on uh, research and development. And uh, then there's also some who are actually working at hospitals right now. 